Hey y'all, welcome back to Tommy Bites Homestead. I am Tommy and today I'm gonna be working with my cucumbers and tomorrow I'll be working with my tomatoes. what I'm dealing with and if you're new to the channel welcome I appreciate you being here if you're returning thank you for coming back if you have not hit that subscribe button please go ahead and join the family hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications also like the video everybody please like the video it helps the channel grow so these get some light over here so these over here they've already started on the fourth leaf and they're becoming a little leggy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take them out of the red container and y'all forgive the nails i have not retouched the nails yet um i'm going to take them out of the red container which is just a liquor cup a uh, kool-aid cup whatever cup you want to call it solo cup and i'm going to plant them a little deeper in here. I'm going to keep them in here. I'm not going to put them in anything different. And I don't have my little plastic fork like I saw um, Tamika from Mississippi Girl gardening and couponing. So y'all, I wrote out my bell pepper one that I'm, a, I'm about to do. I'm going to show you the seeds that I'm about to do. Are y'all planting anything? I hope that you are because a part of prepping, as you see, I've been doing a lot of prepping on here with the grocery hauls, and that's all good and dandy, but it's a lot of grocery stores that are closing lately, and I showed you the Walmart one that's closing. Now there's a Bilo store that's closing, but I thought it was just one, but it's actually all the Bilo stores are closing. I think someone bought them out, though, so there'll be something else, but getting still is kind of scary when you walk into a store and you see a lot of things disappearing so you want to try to expand your prepping to gardening if you have never gardened i am new to the gardening community um as far as i started last year um i did get a harvest from a bunch of things but not a lot of things because I didn't do a lot of things right. So I've been learning along the way is, um, it'll probably be a year in June, May or June that I started of last year. So today, like I said, I'm gonna be redoing these seeds. I'm also gonna do some shout outs. I'm also gonna do some shout outs in here um, from my last video, which was my garden spring clean. I said I was gonna start doing that and I'm almost done with all my pre-recorded stuff. So this will be the first video that I'm actually gonna start doing that. Um, so like I said, these right here, this was like when they first come up, I should have brought one of the other ones over. They just have the two right here and right here they just have those on it then you know when you get the real leaf for your cucumber that was this one now there's the fourth leaf that's coming in so i need to pay them some attention because i've been kind of neglecting i've been watering making sure they're good not dry or anything like that but i noticed yesterday it was like one or two of those little net things flying around and that's the one thing you gotta um look out for when you're doing an indoor garden. This is my first time doing an indoor garden. And I've been seeing people talk about the gnats and stuff like that. But what I do know is I do have a video out that I did last year showing you how to get rid of those gnats. And so all I did in here was add just um, a little bit of water, some Dawn detergent. I used the... Um, fragrant one because they love 
the smell of stuff. And then some um, apple cider vinegar. And I put that in there, mix it around, put this saran wrap on the top of it, poke some holes in it. That way when they go in, they can't get back out. And that's how you kill them. So instead of just spraying some kind of chemical on your plants, you want it to be as organic as it can possibly be. So what I'm going to do is hopefully not make a mess. But let me show you the seeds that I'm going to do first. So after I'm done with this, I will be planting peppermint, sunflower, um, a black beauty eggplant, the green night hybrid eggplant, The Evening Sun Mixed Flower Sunflower. I will be planting some hot lemon hot peppers. Sage. My green beans, which I did not do last year. My sunflowers were so pretty last year. I haven't done the multicolored one before, but I did do the um, American one. I did this one last year. And then I also did the lettuce, and I'll be doing that again this year. Some Serrano chili peppers. You have to bring your pollinators to your garden, y'all. So, I have some morning glories. Aren't they beautiful? And I love four o'clocks. These are like my mom's favorite when I was growing up. And carrots, which I didn't do carrots last year. I don't know why. I think I was afraid to do them. But this year, I'm like, Whatever I eat, I'm going to do. I'm not going to do stuff I don't eat unless it's a request by one of y'all for me to try it so you can see what it's like. Okay, so, and this is Carpet of Snow. It's so pretty. So, let's get into it. Oh, and these right here. These are going to be some beautiful flowers because I had two cucumbers that did not work out for me. So I pulled them up and plopped the, um, spread the little seeds out in them. I just, that's all you do, no digging. And so let me get started y'all. I'm just running off that. And I have something on my table, I have like a, a black trash bag on my table, y'all. So I'm trying not to make a huge mess, but I know I am because I'm pouring it on the table. I want y'all to see these roots though, but I have hole, one hole in the bottom of my cup and I have to be gentle because cucumber roots are very, very sensitive. But look at those roots. Look at that. Beautiful. So all I want to do, I'm, I was going to get something deeper to do it in. I have my pots from last year, like these right here. But I'm saving those for something else, I think. And I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of soil back in the bottom. And the soil is good and moist. I don't have to wet it or anything. Look at that. That's how you want it to be loose because you want the roots to um, be able to move around. I got it back here where y'all can see what I'm doing. So I put like that much soil in, not when I'm first planting them though. When I'm first planting them, the soil is up to the top pretty much and then, but not all the way to the top because you don't want it to run over when you water it. So you put your soil at least to here, and then you just put your seeds in. But because I'm changing it to give it more soil to the rest of it, so 
I may end up having to do it in something different, y'all. Look at how that is. It's still out. And you can see the roots all the way up here. You want all of that covered. God, look at those roots. Look at that. Oh, my God. I don't want to use my other container that I have because I have that for something else. But I'm going to have to look around and see if I can find... Um, Some more. See, there's a gnat right there. It was in the dog the dog on soil. But that's okay. I got my cup right there for you. Now she needs to look a little bit better, y'all. See? I fixed her up. She looks a lot better than she did. But she's still leaning like that. So I'm gonna take my little popsicle sticks on this table or something all the way over there and i'm gonna break them and just let it lean up against it like that and i'll show you in a minute once i fix this last one and i'll um, just i mean i'm using the same cup i just gotta the roots on this one looks good I just gotta fix how I have it. So it'll, there we go. Look at you, girl. See, so much better. I covered up those roots so they will love it. And you'll know in a few days if they start looking a little wilted that they're struggling. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Um, I have done all of these cucumbers and you know making them better having the little sticks in there and I realized my phone was not recording so I've done four no five over here and then I have two right here that I've already done and I was down to the last one when I realized I had not recorded a lot so, you have, let me show you, you have all those roots all the way up there. And so that's why I was redoing them because I wanna make sure all those roots are in some nice soil. And this is just a potting mix that has perlite and um, probably vermiculite in it, I'm not sure. I didn't check, but. No, perlite and peat moss is in here. So we're just gonna put that in just like that. And just around here, you're gonna tamp real lightly, not to compact it because you want it to stay a little loose. And then I'm gonna take, I was breaking my sticks in half and I realized it works so much better if I leave them whole and basically put it in here. Well, I'm gonna put it on this side because it's leaning this way. So I'm gonna come over here and go down. That way I'm not damaging any roots and I'm giving the cucumber something to lean up against. And you can just adjust the leaf on it and take it over to the plant itself if you want. And I'm just gonna add a little soil here so it'll hold that stick up for me, just like that. And that's it, y'all, for um, the cucumbers, getting them done. And if I need to put some uh, twine on it, I will. And it will just wrap around here to um, hold it in place, but not so tight that it's going to damage the plant. Um, I don't, I have not used twine before, so I don't know if I would want to use them on these right now. 
I'll just work with the stick and configure them if I need to put another stick in there and it'll hold it in place y'all so yeah y'all oh missed the whole bag y'all got so long on my, on my leg mm -hmm. I will sweep it up off the floor and put it right back in the bag and so these little ladies are fine. So I'm gonna put these right here. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the popsicle stick. This one don't really need it now, but in case they wanna get laid because maybe the, the light is not down far enough to them. And you don't have to have grow lights, you don't. Does it help? It does. So don't feel like, you know, well, I got to go out and get grow lights because they can become expensive. Um, I buy the bulbs and use, just use whatever I can use. For one of mine, I'm using my actual ring light that, that I use to record with. So I'm just going to take the stick and I don't have to date these because I had the date already. But... And I'm just going to take it because I don't have any. Um, and I'm going to gently go in because I don't want to mess with the roots. Just to give it something to lean against like that. If I need to, I'll put one here and that will help it even more. So that's that one. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. You see how it's leaning? So instead of going on this side... go on this side and just maybe a half an inch away from the plant so you're not hurting it just like that and that's one way to do it um because i don't have the forks and i'm not going i have these right here jumbo colored craft sticks that i use i also use these right here which i'm going to use one now just for one of them and I'll know that all of them, I know what date I did, but I'll put that one aside. So where is my marker? Please tell me one of the kids had been in here for my marker. And that's all we're gonna do on that. I'm gonna have to write it on there later, y'all, because I don't know. My marker has disappeared. Can't do nothing with these kids. Just note, prepping, uh, not prepping, gardening, it can be hard if you make it hard or you can make it fun, like Tamika says from Mississippi Girl Garden. Y'all go over and check her out. Um, I choose this year to not make it as complicated as I did last year. And so that's how I'm going to do my videos. And look at her. Look at her. Oh. Okay. So, if you want a shout out, all you have to do, I'm not asking you to jump through hoops, but I am asking, could you please watch the video all the way to the end and leave me a comment? And I will be reading out the comments from the last video in the next video. So this is from the spring garden update. Um, well, spring garden cleanup. So garden in Eden says one way to add color on the cheap is old tires free from like discount tires. And after a good cleaning, a can of spray paint looks pretty nice. And I left you a comment back responding to you. And I agree. I have seen um, people use tires and I've seen them paint them and have them different colors. I don't think that that's going to fit in to what I want to do. But I have seen it done and it does look nice. Um, I am changing how I'm doing my garden this year um, from what you saw in the 
in this in that garden cleanup video um i sat down and i was like it's not really what i want i want it to be something that i want to walk outside to and i want color and so i had already said that i wanted to paint my um raised beds that my husband did for me last year i was going to paint them a um, nice color and anything else that i put out there is going to have to have some color to it and my organization and how I have it lined up is gonna have to change because now it's just out there. It's, it's nothing, there's no organization to it, if you ask me. And I'm gonna be doing more um, buckets and stuff like that, as opposed to just the cement containers and stuff, just because I want everything at the same height. So that's what I'll be doing. And in the next comment, was from Garnet Eden. She left a few comments, so thank you. I appreciate that. Um, SC Country Girl says, spring will be here before you know it. And she is absolutely right. She has a nice channel as well. And she's from South Carolina. So uh, spring will be here before you know it. I did write down my, um, where is it? The last spring frost for me is March 23rd. So yes, we are in February now and I have to get a move on with getting these seeds in. So y'all gonna see a lot more gardening videos as opposed to the hauling videos. I will still have those, um, but right now I have to focus on the extension part of my prepping, which is gardening because if you can't go to the store and get your fruits and vegetables, you need to be able to walk into your grocery store in your backyard and be able to pick and pull from what you want. And um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So if you wanna know what your um, frost date is, your last, before you put your spring stuff out, if you wanna know that frost date, then you can just go to almanac.com and find out if you um, would like for me to do a video letting you know. Just tell me what your zone is and I will let you know in a video. So the next comment came from Melinda Davis. She says, hello, I am from Barnwell, South Carolina. Hello, how are you? And welcome to the channel, all y'all. And then we have peace, and I cannot pronounce that last. It's T K W G O. I don't know how to say it, y'all. I so apologize. <laughs> but to you, peace, thank you so much for being on my channel. And she just says, hey, you know, every every so often she does have longer comments, but I thank you for leaving a comment. So if you want your shout out, you want me to read your shout out on here. Uh, read your comment on here. Leave me some comments down below and I would greatly appreciate it. And also don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end um, as it does help the channel grow. So that's it for this video, y'all. Y'all take care. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you, so be the best you that you can be. And when you're that person, go out and spread God's love. And remember, if you sow, you will grow. So... Here are the cucumbers. I put two sticks in some of them so that they would, you know, stand up a little better. And now I'm about to water them and put water into the bottom of the tray. So I went outside and I got this. I was gonna use the household water because it's warm water. And I like to always do warm water as to not really shock the roots. So, I'm gonna put, this is rain water, I'm putting in the bottom. And then I'm gonna put warm water in the actual cups to water it. I'm getting water on my table. Here's my pan. And so now I'm gonna add some warm water to the top part. 
So I'm adding this warm water to the soil because one, you don't want, at least I don't want to add cold water to the soil and the roots like that because you want your soil to be warm in order for your plants to grow. So that's my secret that I do. I didn't see anybody else do this <laughs> on their channel. This is just what I figured. I don't like to just jump into a bunch of cold water because it <clears throat> makes me, you know, my body react. So I figured my plants would be the same way. And I'm not putting a lot of water in here because my soil is already moist. You don't want to overdo it. So the water at the bottom, by the time the roots reach down to get that, new, that, that water, it won't be as cold as when I put it in there. But I did want some rainwater on my um, plants. So that's it, y'all.